So if we are getting the tech from the aliens uh -huh. and they say, well, okay, but what are you going to give us? What could we offer? Uh, give and take? Trade? Huh. What do they need? Right? What do you need? Do you need anything from where you're from? I'm going to the Peony Jum. Do you, do you need anything? I can... Do you want like a samga <laughs> kimbap? <laughs> you need some milk? You need some yogurt? <laughs> the banana milk's really good. What would you oh, like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get some banana milk. They'll be super impressed. With a massage. <laughs> we are moving here forever. <laughs> uh, Josh would take a selfie and then live stream the event. And yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't think of that. Mm. In the moment, I don't think I would think of that either. <laughs> it's an alien. How would you turn on your camera and be like, hey. Oh, I disagree. That's what everybody's first instinct is to do these days. <laughs> and that's what yeah. 0612 texted in and said, of course I would live stream it. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> first person to contact a real alien. My fame, my wealth. Alien, I'm right here waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bold young man. The Richard Marks song was written specifically for 0612. Right here <laughs> waiting for you. And our alien overlords. Ah. I love the question, though, from Josh. Oh, yeah. For all the people who have said they've had alien encounters, were they telling the truth or were they not? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, I, I tend to be skeptical. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe everybody. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, well, how about you? Okay. Yeah, I would be curious. I don't want to disregard what they've experienced. I would like to say it's more of like, oh, maybe it wasn't what they thought it was. It was just something mm. else. But to them, it is reality. Very real, yeah. yeah. Well, they say perception is reality, oh, right? Okay, we're going deep. <laughs> so deep. <laughs> Peter. Peter would shake hands, mm -hmm. ask which planet they came from. Then Peter turned into an employee for the Korea Tourism Bureau and recommended <laughs> Bibimbap and Namsan Tower before getting extremely political. And we're not going there, Peter, this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> Peter is my kind of guy. But you did make us laugh here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, check out Namsan. Oh, I like Daegu. Mm. They have good uh, gopchang oh. and makchang. Yeah. You, it's, you can take it as an opportunity to introduce the world specifically your own country, to the alien from a different planet. That's the first thing you're going to say. <laughs> oh, first. That's do the speak... very first thing. Hi, do you speak English or Korean? My <laughs> Check name's out Chris. Daegu. <laughs> Daegu's it's awesome. Amazing app. 7-0. Let's get to your messages. Uh, 4470 says, I'm not going to do anything in the future. Ah, <laughs> it's so fainted. No words to speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably would, right? I mean, you would probably freak out in that moment, right? I think so. I think so. 2450님, 저랑 친구 할래요? 해야죠. Oh, I like this. 돈 주고 돈 받는 사이 해야죠. 만약에 너무 예쁘면 데이트 신청. Oh, 여자 친구가 없다면요. 여자 친구 없다면. But then you look over your alien crush his shoulder and there's his very angry alien girlfriend oh. and now you have made enemies with, with the, the new alien. species <laughs> run away <laughs> run for your life uh uh Yoon says uh where are you originally from would be the first thing i would say and i'd like to have a cuppa if he or she allowed i want to <laughs> ask so many things because i used to be a big fan of the x files uh, i think i get that meaning where are you originally from <laughs> so where are you from no, no i know like, but where, where are, are you, you really originally from, from? are uh, you racist <laughs> <laughs> what is this speciesist does we have to call it that <laughs> he says i believe in aliens because i've seen i saw a ufo a long time ago at that time i was getting off of my car getting out of my car and suddenly it was in the night sky with a bright light and then it was gone in the blink of an eye. I think Hisuk shared this story before, oh. and we didn't really stop and focus on it. So let's stop and focus on this right okay. now. Okay. I need. I want to know more details, though, Hisuk. You said like you got out of your car. It was in the night sky. But were you in the city? Were you in the countryside? I wonder. Was the road lit? Mm. Were, were there outside light sources? Do you know what I mean? Were yeah. there uh, what do you call those? Those poles with light those poles? Big lamp pole lamp posts. Yeah. Some, were, yeah. Were any of those around or was it completely pitch black at ah, night? We need some details. Yeah, more details, please. Yeah, and it honestly, anything that you see in the sky mm -hmm. and you don't know what it is, 
isn't that considered a UFO? It's oh. unidentified. Technically, Technically yeah. Speaking. I could see a bird. And be like, what is that? Oh, that's a UFO. But ah. for the sake of our conversation today, I don't think that's the definition we're going with. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. But if it's a gleaming bird, that would be pretty cool. 8556 it, uh, says, well, it would depend what they look like. If they look like the aliens from the movies, uh, from the movie Aliens, the first thing I'm doing is running. Run! <laughs> the, oh my. Aliens is the one where uh, it comes out of her stomach. Yes, that's <laughs> the one. Uh, that thing? Oh, Johnny, no, no, no. Uh. 1143, Neem. I will ask if they can take away COVID, take COVID mm. away from humans, mm. or. Do they have a cure for COVID from space? Hmm. I hope they will have a cure for all diseases. Hmm. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's a legit question to ask. Like, hey, can you take COVID away? Is there something that you guys can offer to us to help get rid of this situation? Hmm. And I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, and along those lines, if you're looking for questions to help out planet Earth, maybe ask them if they have a giant, ultra-powerful... Cooler. Uh, Cooler? Like for beer? <laughs> no, as in <laughs> cool my beer. Reverse. Kate wants a party with him. I like that idea, too. <laughs> no. Grab uh, a beer, bro. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Cold What's up? beer. No, party. as in to reverse global warming. Oh. <laughs> uh, Yo, huge. Something yeah, to cool the Earth. She was going deeper. She Yo, was going you bring deeper some hot beer. dogs, bro? You bring some hot dogs? <laughs> Uh, we have uh, 6275 name. In Korea, all registered foreigners are considered aliens because they have an alien registration card. Uh, do they still? I thought they changed that. Oh, to what? Did it, it change the title? It's yeah. called an ARC, isn't it? Yeah, but I thought there was talk. Maybe they didn't make the change, but I thought a few years ago uh -huh. um, there was talk of changing that title. Ah. Uh. Um, alien. Registration card. Not the registration card part, but the word alien on it. I thought they were talking about changing that. Change it to, to foreigner or... Maybe I'm making that up. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have many...